Oh, hi. Glad you joined. I was taking a selfie and uh, do you want to take a look at my selfie? Now here it is. While I was taking the selfie, I was thinking why people take selfies. We take selfies for a lot of reasons. One is to post it on social media and get a lot of likes and comments. Another is we share with our friends. Third, we create memories by taking selfies. Fourth, it gives me happiness. It gives me a lot of happiness because uh, after clicking a selfie, it's great to see a chimp reflecting on my screen. Or people take selfies to keep track of how they get old every day. So there are a lot of reasons for taking selfie, but there are people who take selfies way too much on any given day, way too much selfies. Now every hour they click five to 10 selfies and then they'll just post it on their Instagram stories, WhatsApp status on their snaps. They keep doing it again, again, again. Do you want to know the reason and are you one among them who take a lot of selfies in a day and then keep posting it? Do you want to know the reason why you keep doing it? Do you want to know the secret? Because it's a secret. I'm going to tell you. Come here. I'm going to tell you a secret. The secret is because you are empty on the inside. So think about a reader, thinker, leader, wanderer, and a trainer blessed with coaching and humane skills. That's me, Gautam, your coach, founder, able experts. Okay, let's forget selfie for a moment and go and stand in front of a mirror. We would all went and stood in front of mirror for an extended period of time. And why do we do that? Because we try to match ourselves with the reflected image. And uh, there are some psychologists who considered that taking more than five to 10 selfies in a day, more than five to 10 selfies in a day and posting it regularly on social media is a mental condition and it needs some attention also. So why do we keep doing this, this mirroring, this selfie thing and all? Because your look fuels your ego. That's right, uh, your look definitely fuels your ego. So if your ego is positive, uh, your positive uh, thoughts are fuel. And uh, if your ego is negative, I don't need to say the rest, right? Let's say you're dressed beautifully or eye-catchingly for an occasion or to a ball or to a party or to your office and then you go in st and stand in front of a mirror or click a selfie. So what you get immediately on looking at that reflection is your morale gets boosted. You get some self-confidence and then uh, you feel happy on the inside. And then you, you feel some, so, some sort of worth, right? Okay, let's look at the on the other side of it. Let, let's say you're looking at an old picture of yourself taken during some rough times in your life. And when you look at your sulken face and your body language, you'd say, this is not me. And then suddenly that negativity or that hollowness creeps inside you. And then you feel negative all of a sudden. So yes, looks definitely fuel your ego. There's no doubt about that. And that's why we take selfies. Then that's why we, we go and stand in front of a mirror to fuel our ego. But what happens is, is where the problem lies is if you do it more than often. You guys might be asking Gautam, what's a big deal in taking too many selfies? Guys, understand this. Selfies or reflections of mirror or any other sort of these things are validations or reconfirmations to your self-worth. Let's say I'm a handsome person and I'm a handsome person and I know for a fact that I will look handsome in whatever dress that I wear. I feel it from the inside. If people cannot feel this from the inside, what they try to do is they will recreate this on surface. So basically they are going from self-worth to surface worth. That's on a picture. So what do they do? They go and stand in front of some beautiful backgrounds or backdrops, wear some attractive clothes, put on, put on some heavy makeup, and try to click picture in every angle possible, hoping that some angle will show them beautiful or handsome or even sexy. The problem is they will not feel sexy even the picture is perfect because they're not feeling it from the inside. Now the problem keeps getting bigger. They will not get satisfied. They will not get satisfied with the picture taken today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow or yesterday, no matter what the day is and they need surface validation all the time. They cannot rely on their self-worth at all, right? My dear friends, ultimately what they're doing to themselves is they are hurting their self-image. They're hurting their self-worth. They don't feel proud about themselves. My dear friends, this is injustice. What you gotta do is start accepting and confronting your reality. No matter how obese you are, how ugly you look, how incompetent you may be, what job you are in, what salary you derive, what girlfriend or boyfriends you have, 
don't worry all those things just accept it and start confronting your reality and then i want you to move towards the internal qualities that you possess every one of us will have some good internal qualities inside us and i want you to start focusing on it don't worry if they are minuscule or irrelevant or insignificant everything matters and start giving credit to them take a pen and paper put it on black and white and start recognizing them and start appreciating them that's how you bring your true self out let's consider this example uh, let's say you are a brown black or yellow skin toned person right that that is your reality you are, you you have to accept it you cannot change that fact you cannot recreate that you are fairer than what you really are by clicking on some uh, weird selfies by using too many filters at the end of the day you will look still the same it's not going to change your skin your skin tone is not going to change but uh, what i really want you to do is focus on the internal qualities okay give credit to them okay no matter what my skin tone is i will always put up a smile on my face and that smile will make you sexy that that smile will make your face beautiful that smile will make you look handsome my dear friends find those qualities give them the due credit and start accepting who you really are so that you will be yourself all the time you start accepting and confronting your reality and you start accepting who you really are that is your day of liberation and i hope and that day is today for you people until then don't keep hurting yourself find your inner qualities and emote peace and prosperity bye bye gautam